welcome to PMC Tech Channel. In today's episode for Overleaf, we see how we can make our text in bold font, in italics, and how we can also underline our text. To make these texts in bold font, we have to put the command backslash text bf for bold font. Then you enclose the text that you want to be in bold font. You enclose it in Kelly braces. And then when you recompile, you see that the text is now in bold font. And to italicize the text, we use the command backslash text it, and then you put the text that need to be italicized in curly braces. You recompile, you see that the text now is in italic font, or rather, it is italicized. In order to underline the text, all you need to do is do backslash, underline, and then the text that you want underlined, you put it in curly braces, and you see that your text is underlined after you recompile. You can also easily achieve this by clicking Ctrl plus B to achieve board font. So you click Ctrl and B at the same time and you achieve board font. So you highlight the text that you want to be in board font. Then you click Ctrl plus B and the text will be in board font. For italic, you have to click Control plus I. Firstly, you highlight the text and then you click Control plus I. You click Control together with I and the text will be italicized. If you want the text to be both italicized and in bold font, then you have to put backslash text it, you open curly brackets, and then you will put the command backslash text bf, open curly brackets, and then you close. You then click recompile, and the text is both in italics and in bold font. To underline and create bold font at the same time so you put the text that you want underlined and in bold font you say backslash text bf and then open curly brackets then backslash underline open the curly bracket and then the text that you want underlined and in bold font and then you close then you recompile and the text is made bold and underlined at the same time so for more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like and share the video. We'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.